Okay, all right. So, Sad Boys Collective, episode one, Shane Boyle. We out here. Um, school's almost over. Yeah. A couple more weeks. Like seven days. Yeah, end of senior year. Yeah, it's gnarly, dude. College, community college, four year. Four year gang. Four year going... gang up in here. Where are you going? Westmont. Okay, sweet. Yeah, what about you? See. Yeah. See, I don't know. I always see. I see two. I was watching like YouTube videos last night about like, is it worth it to go to college? Like blah blah blah, all this shit. But I'm always wondering like, is it better? Is it worth the experience to actually do the first two years of Gen Ed and pay like all this money at like an expensive school, or should you just go to CLC for two years? I don't know. It depends. I mean, I mean, yeah. There's always people. Oh, you gotta go to CLC, blah blah. But like, I feel like if you have no, like, you don't have a sense of idea, like what you want to do in your life, yeah. then going to community college for two years and then getting all your general out of the way, I think that saves you a lot more money than actually like investing in a four-year college and then trying to switch your major and just complicates things. Yeah, because you don't really take, you don't really start doing stuff with your major until you're what junior, junior year. Junior year, yeah. Yeah, that's why I feel like it's kind of the move, but unless you want to go, I feel like if you're majoring in business or something like that, you should go all four years so you can get like, con isn't that like a connection yeah. thing? Like No, yeah, because I don't think everything you learn for a business major, I, f I honestly believe you can learn on YouTube or learn online. No, exactly. Because I mean, oh, yeah, it's just course. simple stuff, but you learn from connections. That's why I feel like if you go to CSUN for a business major, it I mean, it's pointless, yeah, it but if you go to like anything. USC, you meet all these people, yeah. you get a job right out of there straight from alumni right i feel like that's and the... plus like my i already picked out my schedule for westmont and one of the classes i'm taking is like for my business re requirements for like econ mm -hmm. so i feel like if i gradually like spread it out through that i'm learning through all four years business right and there's all those different categories right yeah. there's business accounting that's why i was looking out on yeah. the thing there's administration accounting there's like marketing there's finance, which is under finance, business, yeah. finance. even just economics, which is still a business. What are you, are you in business? Yeah. Like administration or? I'm thinking maybe accounting or being like an economist. I feel like yeah. accounting would be horse, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. You can just account for like rich guys and like, give oh, them, yeah. like advice. Yeah. yeah. Or like, yeah, financial advisor. You I think like... if you wanted to do your own thing, create your own company, you think you actually need? Um, I a degree. I don't think so. Honestly. I don't think so either because I feel like if you go to college for business. Yeah you get connections yeah but the stuff you learn like i said you can just learn from wherever so if you're doing your own thing you don't really need yeah. those connections i mean it's kind of a i mean especially for the price well if you're going to college i feel like you're going mainly for the degree yeah because there's so many with the internet now there's so many like options to learn in different ways and so if you're an entrepreneur you're not having like to get a degree for somebody to hire you you're making your own company yeah, like all these dudes trying to give like, uh, like have you seen on YouTube where they yeah. like create a Shopify? Like, yeah. Oh yeah, Shopify. drop ship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shopify yeah. like all this stuff. Like I made I make ninety eight thousand a month. They like show the check. And like, That's oh, the other yeah. problem though. Why would they tell you if they're making ninety eight k? Because it doesn't why work. Do they have YouTube apps. Because it's abs. they started doing it. They made bank. It got oversaturated. So now they're doing it on YouTube to make oh sign up on my thing. Paid two thousand dollars. I'll show you how to you think, sell like, something on Shopify. You think Ty Lopez? Oh, oh Ty Lopez gosh. is the capper of the century. Yeah. Bro. You think he actually? How does he make? Oh no, he has banks, bro. How does he have? He's rich because he, dude, he sells his courses. Yeah, two hundred dollars. How to advertise, and it's just some generic thing he people learned. like go to his workshops. It's like a pyramid yeah. scheme, but oh, just one yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, no, he's exactly. Just finessing everything. Yeah. You literally on one of the websites. I don't know if it was Ty Lopez. Refer five of your friends, and you'll get two hundred dollars off the course, right? And that's the pyramid scheme, exactly. Dude. But, that's genius oh and yeah. that guy's rich he's probably way richer than the thing he's teaching and people respect yeah. him bro people, people like, fall dude, for Ty it lopez is a goat bro. oh he is yeah and he's an alpha bro like <laughs> <laughs> he, he finessed everyone yeah, yeah. i respect I that so that. much he still is too he's just like selling his lifestyle I remember basically when he was, yeah. when he was bu first blowing up you want a lambo look at all these books look at all these books you know yeah. what i mean so freaking gnarly <laughs> now buy my book or buy my course how to read the book you gotta read books if you want to be successful <laughs> read books I agree. I feel like you should. I feel like reading books is like better than anything else you can. Oh do. yeah. I feel like you can learn something on YouTube, but it's always biased because people don't make videos to educate people because they like doing it. They want them to oh join my course and they'll or they'll teach you like it. a certain skewed way to do it. So it's it's skewed, you yeah. Need their help more. I right? feel like books are unbiased a little bit. Like the one way to make money is to start a Shopify, blah blah, blah and then you gotta 
invest more money to figure yeah. out how to run it. Like it's all invest in yourself and invest in my course. <laughs> but that's it's insane yeah. though. Books are underrated. Yeah. For sure. I feel like the the theme was throughout like our parents mm-hmm. was go to college, get a job, and now you're making bank. And now I feel like the theme that's coming up is everyone's gonna get trades. Yeah. Go to yeah. trade school and start their oh I'm a financial advisor or whatever. And uh everyone's gonna do that. It's gonna be super saturated. So I think the next thing oh, you think just... it just turns in a cycle? Like yeah. like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like online will go super hard and then everyone will realize that you can't make any money off of that anymore and then they'll go back to trades and Yeah, the internet's everything. not gonna last forever. They're gonna have something better than that and it's not gonna work, I think. It's gonna be gnarly. Super gnarly. Yeah, I know so many people like going to trade schools to do like different jobs because I feel like the stereotype now is to go to college that people don't want to go to college anymore. But you see all these guys, they're all going, dude, I don't want a nine to five, bro. I hate, I, yeah. I'm not a nine to yeah. five. I can't see myself doing Everyone's not a nine to uh, five. Yeah. I've never met someone that is a nine to five. Yeah, no one ever like tells you like, yeah, I'm more of a nine to five kind of guy. Like no one's, no one says that. I feel like the problem is too, is, um, if you don't want a nine to five and you go down like the entrepreneur path or a trade, you're but working like everyone, 12 hours. Then. Not everyone can not have a nine to five. I know. Exactly. We, yeah, 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 we need, need it. it. We need people to have. Interesting. Maybe, to maybe it's just the media that's just what, saturated. That's everyone what's on social sad. Media is like, you don't need a nine to five. But. That's what's so sad about the education system. Cause you know, everyone's like, Oh, I wish in school we could learn how to do our taxes instead of learn like the, you know, calculus or whatever, <laughs> yeah, but we yeah. kind of need those kids. Yeah. Because then they're gonna go and work it's at like McDonald's. It's like the world needs the plebs. You know yes, I mean? yeah. yes. Like you gotta have people to just do the normal jobs. Yeah, or else the world's it's gonna. Called farming. Con- it's called exactly. farming. Exactly. It's called farming. It's crazy though. Yeah, I feel like we actually talked about something productive. I know. That was. It's kind yeah. Of ass. It's crazy, bro. Um, but on another note, um, how is uh how's Pyru? Pyru was sick. It was fun. It was so slippery. They have all oh, the, yeah. all the flowers from all the trees just line the bowl. Damn. I almost face planted like eight times. Sus, dude. <laughs> like, oh, all scooter kids everywhere. Oh no, dude! You're gonna break your leg this time, bro. I might have to call Big Nate to grab your skateboard <laughs> again. Dude, those kids in those communities, dude, they have literally a like their own society. So, yeah. Dude, they have a hierarchy. It's a flock. It's crazy, and they all go there every day. Every what, day, every go, day, yeah. We only head there like once every two weeks or at least i've only been like once every two weeks recently every time the same exact kids are there Damn. same exact how is um castaic it's horrible yeah i hate is it, it's, I, someone told me that they uh like blew all the budget or something they did something where they didn't even fill the park in with concrete it's just strips and then around it is just dirt and yeah it's horrible Damn. Bad vibes. yeah it's a really crappy park so but Pyro is fun only for the bull. The yeah. Sec- the other section is terrible. Um, SCV Park is the best. Yeah. It's so fun. I want to go to Costa Mesa. I rolled up. I rolled up to the drop in. Yeah. Because <laughs> me and John went there last night. I rolled up there. You went to Costa was- Mesa last night? No, we went to SCV oh. Park. But you know where I rolled in? Yeah. So I that kid where I broke this other arm. I rolled up there and uh, I was so just freaked out. Dude. I rolled up to, I looked, I'm like, I can't. Do it. Are you ever gonna do I, it again? I have PTSD from it. Yeah. Man. Cause now I look at it, cause I, okay, cause I was able to do it, but never like thought about clipping my wheel. But now I think, think like, about, if yeah. my truck, this thing's so narrow, if my truck goes one inch off, I'm screwed. But I think if you do it like one time, then I'm you'll fine. be like, oh yeah, I can do this. But <laughs> you just need to get over that. You just need to, ride into the park <laughs> and just not think about anything and just go <laughs> was that um pyru scv oh that was park. SV- oh that was the ledge by the bowl okay yeah. so you know how there's you like you go straight in there's that volcano with the palm tree sticking out yeah like right in the plaza yeah there's a there's a stair set the main stair set you walk down but there's a little skinny roll in no i know exactly thing. where that is no, yeah that's okay so i was standing up top i go hey guys move move i'm telling all these kids they move off, and this kid comes out and doesn't move. He just stands there. And I thought that, like, I thought that if I rolled down, he'd be like, yeah, he'd, me move. And be like oh, shoot, he'd move. Yeah. I got a bag of barbecue chips in my hand, bro, and a cast on the other hand. Like, roll down, hug him to, like, make sure, because his parents are sitting right there, like, on the steps. Just like, oh. And I catch him, put my hand out, boom. I'm like, yeah. oh, I sprained my other 
arm like dang it blah, blah, blah. and after Damn. that i like specifically remember your mom telling me when i took you she was like don't let garrett break his other arm yeah i'm like mom i'm not gonna break my other arm yeah like, next thing i know i'm like putting ice on it that's so bad mom walks in she's like your arm's broken she's like no it's just a sprain yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. you're going you're to like, the mom, er can I have ice and she's like Oh, I guess your uh, your pins just hurt. Yeah. And then you, she walks in. It's on your other arm. Because <laughs> because when these pins were in my hand, they were almost coming through the skin. Yeah. Like my body was rejecting them. They were coming out. I could literally it was red around them. They're about to burst through the skin. If they would have, I would have died. So she's like, "Oh, okay, you're getting ice to put on your pins." Like, yeah. Gnarly. And she came in my room and I had the ice pack in my other hand. It's gnarly. Drag me to the ER. Damn. Look at that, bro. Yeah. The podcast took forever to do. We're just stoked to be here. Yeah. I feel like just, yeah. just, just in the moment. Out here. Here, yeah. You know, it's so crazy. Yeah. What are you guys doing over summer? I want to travel, bro. I want to travel fat. fat. Yeah. I want to, really? I want to like ride my mountain bike a lot. I feel like summer's the time to do it. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to um, Whistler. Yeah. That's, that's the move. If we could plan a trip to Whistler before we go to college, that'd be tight. Yeah. That's actually really smart. I'm going, I'm going backpacking. Um, like first week of August point, for five days. Point Loma kids, point yeah. Loma. I think I might do that for Westmont. They have that, yeah. It's Dude, called like Trailhead. I, I feel like it'd be sick. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 Just get to, to know people. Yeah, we're going to Kings Canyon. Meet some like gnarly kids. Yeah. Head out into the mountains. I want to start backpacking more. Yeah. I feel like it's just such a yeah. Thing I think I'm gonna go like camping and like Joshua Tree maybe or like Sequoia. Joshua Tree is so, so sick. Tight. Yeah. It's so tight. I. I always want to climb there, but then like, I don't like strapping in. I'm afraid I'm going to die if I... Um, His bolts break loose. Dude. So sketchy. Yeah, I mean, John wants to get a crash pad. I think that'd be sick. Buy a crash yeah. pad. At first, he's like, bro, let's just like... Crash pads are too expensive. Let's just buy like a mattress. A mattress yeah. Bro. I'm not so buying sketchy. an air mattress, bro. You like, you're like, oh, dog, fall back. <laughs> just pops. You just break your back. Oh. You ever going to climb again or what? Yeah, once I, I mean, this wrist is feeling way better. I've been like trying to PT it a little bit, and you just boulder, huh? You just boulder, yeah. Vasquez. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to start climbing. It's yeah. so fun. It's so fun, especially. I mean, the gym is fun. I feel like you can get burnt on it really yeah. easily, but yeah. the gym helps so much. Gym, but really I feel helps. like in the climbing gym, you climb like, so you know, there's all the mm. V1, V2. Yeah. There's all those. If you're climbing like V6, V5, some somewhere around there, which is like pretty yeah it's medium it's pretty decent yeah. like you're pretty good at that point when you go outside bro i bet you're just climbing v1 like just oh yeah because it's yeah. like reading it is so much different yeah and super inconsistent with how they read it too right yeah. sometimes i'll be like on a v7 like can do like half of the moves but then i go to like some v2s and i'm like struggling <laughs> like shaking yeah yeah climbing gnarly really have you been or you put your membership on hold no i'm i've, I've been. been you've been yeah i've just been playing guitar so much it's just like my fingers get all ripped up and for, for other reasons too so. <laughs> it's stupid but are you playing a lot now yeah did you ever like, get that song done yeah i'm recording it i finished I almost finished it i have like what a song left. he's it's like called, playing some insane song right yeah it's Talk called for that. the love of god it's you haven't heard oh. it it's super sick but i'm trying That's to record insane. it and upload it so it's like a super like hard song to play right yeah yeah Not really I, I got a guitar, bro. I yeah, was like, I have one too. I, I got one. My dad got me one when I was like 10, 11 years old. I like tried to learn how to play. I just didn't have the patience. So hard. My fingers would hurt. Yeah. I'd be like, like Ugh. keep the, see those? No, yeah. Or like rock like, now. Really. <sighs> yeah. Just calluses all over. That's, That's like my grind. grind. Like your snowboarding is like my guitar. guitar. I just yeah. grind that four hours every day after school. I miss snowboarding. I was like progressing a lot and then I... I just don't want to get hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm at a point where, like, I can cruise and, like, do everything I want to do, but if I want to take it to the next level, it's just, oh, too much, too much risk, you know? Yeah. If I can hear myself, I'm talking, like, close enough, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I have to sit, like, I mean, close. you shouldn't, okay. no. I think I'm fine. I think you're okay. Um, yeah, that's, it's gnarly. It's How do you see so if someone, someone, oh, two yeah. people watching this. Really? Who's on here? Aiden and someone else. Oh, so yeah. Nice. He probably told one of his homies to like, hop on. <laughs> yeah. Text him right now. Tell him to tell him to say something in there. That'd be sick. It's weird watching yourself because it's like one. It's like what Delayed, five seconds yeah. lag. Wait, he told me to do that. <laughs> 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 Good. An Aiden, bro. Yeah. What was I saying? That's so funny. Let me get more homies on here. 
Um, no, snowboarding is the gnarliest sport ever. Yeah. If you, okay, here's the thing. I feel like with snowboarding, different from all the other sports, these kids who live on the mountain, they progress literally so fast because they just live there and yeah. they ride every single day. I feel like it's not a hard sport if you can just hop on and just ride the mountain every single day because there are kids that are like freaking 13 they're hugging Dude. quadruple backflips and like crazy that takes so spins. much out of you though like they're after snowboarding you. like it's like five o'clock and you're getting off like no yeah oh it drains you yeah, it drains you it like you drains so your much. mental energy yeah. not like your physical it's crazy it's so crazy because yeah. yeah, you're just everything's yeah. going on you're just trying to focus a bunch what's i feel like what's the best way to progress is it in the park or is it like backcountry? I feel like it's just backcountry. I yeah. feel like backcountry gets you so good. For just getting because it's just like you're on your toes. That's just... like what I've moved through. Like I was super, super into park for a really long time. I was super into jumps, rails, but then I just took so many slams. I'm like, I'd rather just like go on the backside and just take huge powder turns. So fun. It's way more fun than anything. You got like a snowboard, right? Did you ever, did, did you ever take it out? That yeah. wooden one? Yeah. I have to get one. I have to get a signal. Yeah. I want to get one so soon, but it's like the season's over, so I'll wait. I think signal's the move. I think I'm going to grab one next season. I want to grab... They have like a... uh, Oh, can we we search something up on here? Yeah. Let's try it. So they can see it and stuff? Okay. Go to signal's website. Do you want me to put it so they can see it? Yeah, put it like... Put us in the corner or whatever you can do. I'll do that. Yeah. Go on, Here, can you type on? Yeah, go, okay. on, go on Signal's website. Hold on. I mean, honestly, the move might be to buy it right now. It might be cheaper. Yeah, maybe. Season. I think I want to get like a 158 wide, yeah. though. Because yeah. I read a 162 and it was like. It was too big. I mean, it w- they said it was my right size, but yeah. I think I want to go down. I have like a 160. Oh, you Once, do? Yeah. How tall are you? Six one sixty. Okay, so I think I could do a one fifty eight. Though I feel like one fifty eight. Yeah, yeah. one sixty two is huge. huge. Yeah. yeah, that's huge. Yeah, I mean, I'm on one. I'm on a one fifty six, and I could pro- I could for sure ride one fifty four, but I just like. I'm like yeah, six I like, three though. I so. like bigger boys. I have to get wide though, cause I'm like size fourteen boots or size thirteen. Yeah, this is the one I want right here. Cause I don't do like much park. Just this thing, okay. like. That's sick. They did a uh, they did a video that showed yeah this one see this one comes in a one fifty eight and a one sixty six. Who oh rides my a 166? God, I don't know. Dude. Somebody's just seven feet. I don't know what the move is. I think for this one, you're supposed to ride a shorter size than you normally would. So you could ride 158. I'd probably ride a 154, but that thing looks tight. Yeah. I think they just came out with a bunch of new graphics, though, for next season because I saw it on their Instagram. Here, scroll down. So, like, see what I mean? Oh, it looks like messy. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. It's gas. I pulled it up. This yeah. one looks tight too. The one, the yeah, up twenty twenty. Yeah, snowboarding's gnarly. All right, how do I click off of this? Um, here, go back. Here, I'll do it. Get us back to where we were. The yeah. rewatching. Who's in that? I don't know. Probably Jensen. <laughs> Snowboards are just too expensive, dude. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, but yeah. you want to snowboard, Fuck. it's the literally the rich man sport. Well, that's like the same with surfboards. Yeah, true. But I feel like with snowboarding, you got to have the lift ticket. You got to buy all that expensive Yeah, that's gear. true. A-shape rides. Dude, a. our sponsor, Handicam. Yeah, for real. It's coming in this is a This is a clip from our sponsor. Yeah, our sp- it will play periodically. Um, we got to figure out how to get that off. That's really annoying. <laughs> I know, yeah. I don't know why it's doing I'm that. I'm sure it can go off. It's um, so annoying. Oh, my God. But, yeah, you definitely can't be – there's definitely no hood rat snowboarders. Oh, that's no. no sure. <laughs> I mean, that's honestly kind of a good thing, though. Yeah, there's no one – you know what I mean? Yeah, because, like, no like, like, you have skating? to be invested in – Dude, it's, like, 600 for, like, a icon pass. Yeah. It's gnarly. And then traveling and then – That's that's what I actually thought. Um, But, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. You know what I want to get into is uh, I was telling you surfing. Yeah. I'm not trying to be like the poser, bro. Let me get the fun board, though, dog. <laughs> oh, a seven-foot fun board. Dude, bro, I'm trying s- to cop a fun board. You got to start on the wave storm. No, I'm going to get yeah. a wave storm, bro, off Craigslist. Trust me. The wave storm is a You dense in it? Move. No, they are. They're yeah. fun. I used, to yeah. have, fun. I used to have a 9-0. The Chuck Dent. Did you ever see that board? Dude, yes. That was the OG board. I'd the Maui and Sons board. OG. 
Okay, okay, this is a story. This is something I could talk about. So, John, right, his stepdad, surf, owns a surf company, whatever. Shout out Dorsal. Yeah, shout, Dorsal, <laughs> shout out the sponsor, bro. Dorsal Fins. Check them out. There's actually four people watching. Who'd you, who'd you tell to watch? Just some random heads. <laughs> <laughs> Riley and stuff. That's sick. If Riley's watching this, I love you. Um, No, so he's like, so I'm like, what? in the sixth grade i'm like dad i want daddy i want a surfboard you know what i mean <laughs> so we roll up dude to wolves surf shop it I was, mean, by legacy no it's a surf shop by legacy it's down they the close. street from paseo club yeah. it used to be okay. there they, the dude in there bro i walk in there and i'm like looking through the boards trying to act like i know what i'm looking for <laughs> yeah i like pull out the maui and sons I'm like dude this thing is so tight and the guy looks at me he's like you think about getting a board? I'm like, yeah, it's my birthday. Like, I want to get a surfboard. He's like, oh, I don't think, I don't think you like want to grab that one, man. I think like here are a couple options. He shows me like some foamies and stuff. I'm like, oh look at him, like, yeah, I am not getting a foam board. Like, <laughs> so we get this giant big wave surfboard, dude. It's made for like a dude. It, what that board is made for someone? Oh yeah, over two hundred pounds. That's big, yeah. <laughs> Freaking out of pipe, dude. Just and getting, you're like a hundred pound kid. Just I mean, I don't know the shapes. Loading. The shapes that they make are absolutely disgusting. I, I didn't even know that Maui and Sons like made boards. Made boards. I feel until like they're out of China. One. Yeah. But me and uh, okay, me and my old middle school teacher, we would paddle out i would like destroy a fin box he'd repair yeah. it but that that boy starts surfing up. when you're in sixth grade no i mean i don't know we would like with john you'd go me and john we'd yeah. like head out we'd go to mondo's you know mark yeah. would like mondo's is the og spot i mean i went to uh like surf camp when i was really younger. yeah i went to like a surf camp um <laughs> freaking jeff belzer dude he's like he's like an og guy from ventura he still surfs out there every yeah. day i see him he kind of looks at me funny he kind of recognizes yeah, he, me he a little bit you. but yeah that's how i learned to surf yeah. out there freaking surf camp dude with all the little girls surf camp. <laughs> it was it was sick dude i i it was it was definitely like i learned how to surf from that but then me and john just paddling around johnny always giving me tips yeah yeah Johnny's you scared. should learn how to surf. Yeah, I should. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing That's is, bro, safe. is you gotta really want to learn. Yeah. How to I feel like surf. I have to head out like every weekend. Yeah, like, and it's gonna suck for a straight year. But yeah. then once, if you just keep start progressing, it's one of those things. Yeah. Like you, you have keep to keep persevering, commit. and then you're gonna hit a point where you can at least pop up, and it's fun enough to then like keep surfing. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna be at a point where you're just white, like riding white wash. You don't know how to paddle. Yeah. Or you're just getting destroyed. And it's just horrible. Yeah. Right zone. Oh my gosh, bro! Gnarliest day. Okay, so I've been. For some reason, I hadn't surfed. I don't know why. Yeah. I hadn't surfed for like three or four months. <laughs> Me, Shane, John, and Kara, bro, we paddle out at Hobson's. This was so bad. And we're looking out at it. You know, we're standing on the thing. We're like, all right, it looks high tide, but surf looks good. It was like you know? five foot probably. It was like five foot, which is pretty good. And so we're looking out. We're like, all right, let's paddle out. I'm walking. Is your bathroom? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's right there. Right. I'm walking down the stairs, bro. And... <laughs> I'm like watching Kara because I know Kara's just gonna get murked down there. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, all right, so let's wait till it goes down. Then we'll run out and we'll paddle out, right? <laughs> so I run, jump, just slam the back of my board just straight on a rock. Just poof, and I'm like, oh no. Oh, so I just keep paddling, keep paddling. Me and John are paddling side by side. Cause like we've been surfing for a while, we got like we're like in sync together, so we're both paddling out and we're sitting out there. We're like, oh man, finally got out. We're like looking around, we're like, dude, where's Kara at? <laughs> we look, dude, <laughs> she is in the inside, just getting destroyed. And it was so high tide. It was such a high tide that all the rocks. You know how like Ventura, there's all the rocks that build up and then a stretch of beach and then the ocean. Yeah, dude, it was up to the rocks and she was just getting thrown. It was a horrible day. That's gross. Uh, Kara surfs. Yeah. yeah. No, she actually no, she actually. I surfs. can see it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I just never you thought know, about it. Chicks surfing, it's like, you know, when they're just surfing on the weekends, yeah. it's like they can't commit that hard. But yeah, I don't know. I hear you. I really want to get into it. I should just get a board. But I feel like I'm gonna go once and then go like two months with you. You know what I mean? I have yeah. to just grind for like at least a, two, three months. It's just hard. You got to be. I guess like, I do it over summer. You could surf just every day because there's no there's no waves really in the summer. Oh really? really? So I mean no, but you can learn. It's the best time to learn to surf. Oh okay. It's pretty small, but like Facts. when you winters when all the swells come in and it gets huge. Yeah. 
yeah, bro, I was like watching WSL and there's like um, Nazare or whatever. Oh, okay. These waves are just like murking boats and stuff. Oh, and these guys are just. And just they like tow them in on jet skis. Yeah, dude, that's gnarly. That's like the scariest thing, bro. You have the balls to do that. Because when you, if you go down under halfway in, it's pushing you down. They have to be able to hold their breath for like six minutes. I don't know how you that's train crazy. for that. Just Especially when you're getting hit like in the lungs with the water and stuff. You're like. And they have those, they have those life the jackets. You, you like pull it. Just, <laughs> you just imagine you start blasting it's up. Like, <gasps> That's I mean, crazy. It's got to be insane. I mean, yeah. I've been smashed pretty hard before, but always just like trying to keep calm and not tense up because that's how you, yeah. that's how you break something. Yeah. Have you ever surfed with Aaron? No. <laughs> I want to. He's with the Aaron's. homie that has to. He is. He is one of the coolest people I've ever met. He's like, hey, buddy, before we, before you go to college, let's just try to surf one time. I'm like, all right. Like, you know. <laughs> he just tells it how it is. It's so funny. He's the chillest guy. <sighs> you know, I was just thinking, pe- like people in our lives are gonna ask to watch this, and we're we're just like talking. So we let's uh, let's just try to keep this on one on the D low. You know what I mean? Yeah. This cast. Yeah. Just for the first one. Yeah. I think it's dank though. It's been pretty yeah. good. I think so too. He said, you've been smashed pretty hard before. <laughs> yeah, I've been absolutely Here and there. bumbled. Huh? Here and there. Yeah, you know, time to time. Let I was try something with the camera. I was, saying I've been, I was saying I've been smashed before by like a wave. Smashed a couple times. And asked me if I've been smashed pretty hard before. I think I might have a bladder infection. I've been needing to pee so much lately. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, I know. I was always afraid. My mom always told me that people with diabetes had to pee a lot. So every time I would have to pee all the time. I was you like, thought you had diabetes? No, that's true, though. Has to do with the kidneys. Filtering Why'd you, why'd you zoom it insulin? in? So if I zoom it, it won't, like, pause. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, so well, it's, it's like trying to wake it up. Yeah. <laughs> like, wake it up. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Can't believe four heads are still watching this. I know. I know. Not really. You must be holding some good You're content right now. You're talking about the time you got smashed on Hobson's. Yeah. I almost, I almost okay, got destroyed. Okay, Kara snapped. Anyways, back to that story. Kara snapped her board that day. Shane's just out there paddling, chilling. Him and his cousin. Or is Garrett your cousin? He's like my be- like yeah. best friend. So him, they're just out ripping, catching waves. I'm like, had not paddled in so long. I'm like, <gasps> just sucking wind. And Kara snapped her board, dude. She focused it on the rocks. She got destroyed. <laughs> she focused it on the rocks. Yeah. And so I'm That's like sitting out there. I'm like, bro, John, I don't see Kara. Like, I don't see her, bro. He's like, dang. And so I was already getting tired, so... I tried to paddle in, got smashed, just kept getting smashed up against the rocks. I paddle in, dude. She's sitting there on the tailgate, just all somber, with her board snapped in half. She's blood all over her because she got literally yeah. pushed up against the rocks. Just, yeah. oof. But I feel like other than that, surfing isn't dangerous. I got slammed going in, too. I slipped. My board had just left me, and I just got hit by the waves. <laughs> yeah, I feel like other than that, though, surfing is... Not oh, really dangerous, no. especially in Southern well, California. Big wave surfing. Yeah, if you go to like Hawaii, if Mavericks, <laughs> chasing Mavericks, so bad. Um, I feel like all waves where you're just surfing on sand. I feel like it's oh um, yeah, but reefs are so sketchy. Oh. Did you see? Okay, so who is Job posted a video of him getting know. staples in his head, like he filmed the, the staples going oh. in, because he hit the reef. Yeah, the pipe. He was surfing pipe. Yeah. yeah. So Apparently. he does the sketchiest things at pipe, like on board a, transfers on a foamy. Yeah, he's just on at pipe on a, cause catch surf I think sponsored. Yeah, yeah. He's so gnarly. Why is he doing that? I want to surf the the know. river at Waimea. That looks so sick. It looks so tight. Yeah. They dig it out every yeah. year. Looks so fun. I feel like you get a bunch of diseases though. I know. Sort of. So does that thing ever refresh, or does it just keep? Do you know what I mean? There's no way four people are still watching. No, this, they are. Right? That's that's like live. Really? Yeah. Interesting. There's four people in here. There's no way. <laughs> that's funny. Let's see, bro. Yeah. Let's see if we can ask someone else to hop on here. Yeah. The link you sent me, I can just send to people. Yeah. Just copy it. Get that on there. You gonna surf a lot when you go to Westmont? Santa Barbara. Yeah. I saw there's I saw one pretty good spot at, like right out front of their. school. Out of their school, it looks like a point break. It looks so fun. What schools did you apply to besides? Um, I applied to Westmont, Calu, and LMU. I was gonna apply to like UCSB, like other UCs, Dude, but I got I, into Westmont, which I was like my top UCSB. choice. Yeah. So it's just like there's no point in me impl- like for me to yeah. like apply to all these other schools. 
I so I already did like my essays for Kalu and LMU. I got it in there for both, but I was like, I'm LMU's not gonna... in LA, right? What? Uh, LMU, it's in LA. Kind of. Loyola, Miramar. It's near it's like LA. Long Beach, kind of. <laughs> Let's get Mateen up in here, bro. More inland. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yes, <laughs> bro. I'm just sending Mateen the link. Mateen is a savage, bro. Who else could get up in here? Send, send the link to the original one. Be like. <laughs> Maybe someone will say something that'll... Yeah, like we can just talk, have hold a combo with someone left, see? Now we got three, oh, okay. bro. I see. It's because we just stopped talking about anything. Yeah. <laughs> Mateen says, oh my god, no way. <laughs> <laughs> now we got four back in here. <laughs> yeah, if we get... We need someone to talk to on here. Mateen needs to talk to us. Yeah, yeah there's four people watching. That's sick, though. There we go. Yeah. All right, here, wait. I'm going yes, to try to move this real Okay, quick. yeah, move it closer so yeah. we can all see it. I think the camera thing worked. No, I just have to zoom in, zoom out. Turn it a little bit so Shane can. Does H shape know who Mateen is? The money machine. Money machine. Oh, now we have seven heads watching, bro. Really? Oh, I sent. I sent the link. Dude, who'd pop, you send it to? It's popping off, bro. I sent the link to Johnny, Sammy, Mateen. Just the. <laughs> My team needs to get on this podcast. He said, what's this kid's craziest stories? I think he's referring to you. To me. I want to be on this podcast. <laughs> Let's get him on. We'll get you on the podcast, my team, bro. Episode two. <laughs> we'll get you hopped the on. The Solomon Poor Experience. The Solomon Poor. That, that would be kind of vibes. Yes, bro. Yeah, my team, we'll get you on the podcast. We'll talk all things, my team. Um, my team's got a lot to talk about. I feel like he does, bro. He's, he's, got, good. he's got stories. Yeah. He's a man sure. of mysteries. H shape rides. What's this kid's craziest story? Oh, I think they're talking about Mateen. Um, it's gnarly though. Six people watching. It's <laughs> um, such a boring. Bro, person. he would be on the cast, and he would just be. No, he would. We would laying never. Facts, we would never bro. do this right now. Yeah. Laying facts, bro. Mateen would get it. Mateen would. He said I would be so good on the cast. Yeah, yeah bro. Just get all the homies on the cast. No, I was wondering, like, I always have this idea, like, I'm going to go to Point Loma. I'm going to surf every day. I wonder if I'm going to get burnt. You know what I mean? Like, if I actually will no. surf every day. I want to surf every day. Because I don't think so you're going to get bad. burnt, bro. I, I don't think, think you're going to be able life. to. Honestly, I surfing like I'll every get day. so good if I surf every day. Yeah. Come back a savage. Yeah, because I feel like San Diego, it's always... San Diego, like, okay, every somewhere. time I go on Surfline, Ventura's flat. Flat, yeah. And San Diego has waves. No, I'm going to be, like, screwed in Santa Barbara. Yeah, it's flat a lot yeah. there. There's, like, sand spit. You there's sand Hammonds, spit, yeah. Though. Sand spit is insane. That's, like, a mini Led wedge. Better. Mateen said, I'm going to tweet this link. Oh, no. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. the link. We, I mean, yeah. We, not yet, at least, bro. No, yeah, not this yet. Is, this, this is, is the first, bro. This is the entry. I think it's too late, bro. I got to peep Twitter, bro. This is not okay. Oh, no, bro. Jensen said you get burnt. It's too late, bro. Mateen already did it, dog. We don't have anything to talk about yeah. on here. We're just we'll get... We'll find some... <sighs> this is episode one. Yeah, this is episode one of the Sad Boys Collective live stream. Mateen's <laughs> blind, bro. Oh, no. Oh, it's no. caps, bro. Mateen, bro. It is caps. Please delete that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to have like heads in here. What are we talking about? Yeah, we're just chilling. We're just chilling. We're just chilling right now, dude. <laughs> it's okay, bro. We have like 30 people in the freaking thing. Everyone just popping um, up. Yeah. Let's go down. Oh, yeah, dude. So summer is gonna do that, and I mean, yeah, dude, we gotta go to Canada. For we gotta sure. get Daddy Dean, bro, and get go on a few oh mountain bike trips. No. You, me, Aiden, Thanks, bro. Just get the whole crew together. Aiden can teach us how to ride bikes. Yeah, Aiden, bro, can you make me arrow? Aiden, we're gonna get you on the cast, buddy. We want to talk yeah. about your journey from backyard warrior to yeah. Santa Cruz team member. Legend, dude, just Santa Cruz legend. I'm trying. The I'm trying to be a good fan. I'm gonna grab some munch while listening to the cast. Oh no, bro! It's an entourage it's of just the, content. Into the long ride. Yeah, yes, bro. I, hopefully he deleted. H ape said yo. H ape, yeah, you're next on this cast, bro. He said I'm down. Good vibes. Should get make John on thing. this. Oh no, I think that's a good. <laughs> John would just be so painted on the wall. Yeah, bro, no. you know the best bread to eat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
I make fun of that kid so much. He's probably watching John's right so now. so funny, bro. I sent him the link. Shout out John. He's just the John. best human. I don't think he has a YouTube account, so I don't think he can no. comment on here. Uh, I think YouTube accounts are hipster. Yeah. They are. Definitely. Yeah, they're too <laughs> hipster. <laughs> Way too hipster, bro. Just societal norm, right? Just have a YouTube account? Yeah, bro. John the goat, no cap. John is the goat. Yeah. Jensen, uh, John and Aiden would be clean. Okay, for sure. It would be clean, Jensen. Maybe when you grow up, we could have you on there, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jensen, when you come of age, bro, we'll put you on. Yeah, well, when you're of consent. Jensen's killing the game, dude. I heard no, he's he been is, bro. just slaying the ladies lately. Really? I haven't seen the snaps. Um, just sit back and read it. Yeah. All right, what else can we talk about? This is a, this is a good first episode. Yeah, We're just yeah. kind of feeling things out. Yeah, yeah. Testing the water. I don't want to put too much pressure on it because I feel like you know what I mean. Yeah, we should probably tell the heads who's watching wh- who we interview. We're trying to like have stuff to talk about to make it interesting and like so top five think stuff. About yeah. yeah, yeah. But for now, we're literally just chilling. We were expecting not to have anyone watch. I mean, if you but... got Savvy B on here, you'd have to come up with some good stuff. Yeah, we got rejected by Savvy B. Yeah, bro. I'm open to. Yeah, I'm willing Dog. to say that on the cast. We did our stuff on there too, bro. Like. Do you know there's some Taylor Swift conspiracies? Really? Yeah, bro. We I don't were going to hit her with some Taylor Swift conspiracies. What conspiracies? Yeah. <laughs> there's this one that says, because apparently there's some Satanist leader. Yeah. And she looks exactly right. Yeah. That's the, that's the or she's that. reincarnated she, as this lady that she's died. She's like a Satanist leader, like reincarnated. And there's all this proof. You'd think it would just be some girl on Twitter tweeting yeah. that, but there's like these links really? and like these pictures and like no, someone's like trying to get DNA and stuff. It's on like Vice, right? Or something yeah, like that. Yeah. It's just a well thought out conspiracy. Yeah, I do not. I like, damn. Yeah. Like Taylor Swift. Putting it out I there. would love this. I'm crying tears of joy. Tears of joy. This was a genius idea. I feel no, like it was. It really was, because I feel like we can it's get a good way to end just, school. Just yeah. the yeah. homies every night. Just the homies on the live. The, yeah. the transition into Noah Bolton. Into a new life. <laughs> He's on this. Oh no. We got the okay, uh, handy cam sponsor. We got a sponsor right here. back. We monetize this this live stream. And yeah. Watch this real quick while we make some elephants. <laughs> yeah, elephants. Make some quick bang. Go to your nearest Best Buy. Jurassic Park. This is such Except a no game. dinosaurs. Look at that. <laughs> the <laughs> elephants, bro. Active mode. Maybe we should oh keep, just gosh. keep this in here. We'll just switch topics every time that comes yeah. on. Why is it considered Because that that's not that long, and it's kind of it's kind of. I got I got a question. What? Moon landing. Uh, was it real or fake? Yeah, was it real or fake? Dude, I don't. Kn- I okay okay. This is cringe, but I honestly think it could have been fake. No, I I agree. I don't think it's fake. I think it's real. But there is proof that the pictures that they did are fake. Okay. The pictures are fake. Yeah. Not all for advertising because they want people to watch it. They were live streaming. If you think about that, in the nineteen nineteen sixty nine when it happened, like there's no way they had a live the technology from like back then. Do you think the government like screws with people like that, like fake pictures? Oh, a hundred percent, dude. If I was the government, I would be brainwashing all these fools. Mateen's uh, hyping me up right now. Oh, Much good. love. Um, we'll yeah. get him on here, I mean, dude. Yeah. We'll get him I on hope here. it's real. Because if it's not, that's just... That, that would, would be sus, sus bro. Because, yeah. like... Then what that else means, isn't real? That means Elon Musk is the horse if that's not real. Because, like, yeah, he's the SpaceX? closest thing. Yeah. I Dude, NASA must be evil, bro. Because it's owned by the government. Oh, yeah. The yeah, government's is. not good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be like different. John, bro. But <laughs> Yeah, the government... Hippies? Hip, not, yeah. The government... Justin is the government, question mark? Okay. <laughs> Jensen, how's it... Noah Boltman says, how's it, go, how's it going, boys? It's going good. It's going good. First uh, first episode. This is our first episode of our podcast. On the live. If you just hopped on. Yeah. We're just kind of... Feeling, feeling it out. Feeling it out. Feeling Dipping the big toe in. Giving it a, giving it a shot. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna bring some funny heads on here. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna get some yeah, people yeah. on here. It's gonna be sick. We're gonna be a little more structured. We're not yeah. just gonna sit here and kind of BS. But I think, three I, I months think it'll be good. It. We gotta just go live. I don't know if we should do interview questions because I feel like I don't. I, I think, think that's, that's too generic. Yeah, I think we should just really do talk to people like this. Yeah, but, but we should have some funny topics, stuff. On. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like, like the moon landing. Yeah, moon dude. landing. And just ask everybody about the moon landing. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like. 
Someone was what's up? No, I just I just don't. That's crazy. I think they for sure would make fake pictures because there's oh, yeah. I've heard a lot of stuff where it's like, well, the footprints and blah blah blah, like all this different stuff. There was confirmed that the pictures were fake for advertising, but there was something with the live stream that if it was live stream for three hours, I don't remember exactly. It was like, how do they run commercials or something yeah. like that? If it was live, how did they run ads? Or some something like that because yeah. the technology back then it wasn't it's like DVR. Yeah, yeah. They're in a green screen room, <laughs> full of a and, rocket. Yeah, and to get that signal the the from the moon like, to Earth, yeah, without ever being to the moon before. Would that, you lose connect? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if this is like a head ass thing to say, but would you lose connection? Okay, so I know nowadays because. You know I mean? Our internet goes to like satellites. Yeah. I know if you're in space, I'm pretty sure you have like like the best internet. Yeah, I because it just goes straight to the thing. I think that's the best. But back then. They must have had a satellite, right? I don't Because how did TV work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, where's There's the, the unlimited data? data? But, uh, Let's have a long line going from the earth all the way <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah, bro. It's just a big, like, fishing rod. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. How long have we been on the slide for? Um, here, TK. Um, we've been on the live for a solid 45. Oh, that's pretty good. And then, what, an hour? Yeah, like an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Three it's, hours. It's crazy, though. Three hour Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Joe Rogan. Is DMT a thing? <laughs> Have you tried DMT? It's our inspiration. Yeah. that's He literally talks about the same four things I noticed because yeah. I watched his podcast. He talks about weed, t- DMT, uh, working out, and just... just and it, MMA. Bro. And MMA, yeah. Yeah, it's so... F- I would love to have, like joey diaz on there that would be that guy is so funny ridiculous. he's crazy though but it's gnarly <laughs> yeah we have we all have a lot yeah. to say dude yeah joe rogan's like one of my idols kind of kind of bro i could say he's my idol but joe rogan is a savage for a lot of reasons yeah. the best interview is the dr phil one i think so i think so too really? yeah that one? I haven't seen that one yet. He oh, my jo- God, it's gas. Dr. Phil, he talked about, like, mental health. And I really like the Neil deGrasse Tyson ones. That one's good, too. Yeah. yeah. Dude, he had one on his fifth episode when they were, like, in front of a laptop webcam. Yeah, I that, saw that one. That one was good, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. just, like, such an interesting guy. We went we went a little bit harder for this. We, yeah. like, set it up. It looks so yeah. good on, in here. The stew. It's legit. It's the studio, it's, bro. It's legit. I don't know if anyone's heard this. I know people are leaving, but we took a lot of time to set this up. Yeah. So we're hyped now. But Joe, all of Joe Rogan's like OG podcasts were like pretty horrible. Yeah. Yeah, the quality. <laughs> Dude, ours is horrible. like 10,000 times better than his first. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we probably, his probably, I don't know. I, I haven't watched his early ones, but I feel like. They're good, but they're just, they look stupid. Yeah. What's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> we got Mateen on the, live, teen on right the live, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this has been the. You gotta is, get on this. This has been the Justin and Garrett secret project for like yeah. nine weeks. Oh. <laughs> I, thank you for joining it. Yeah. It's, yeah, bro. We got. Listen to me, bro. Yeah, bro. You were on every single live I've ever put on. You were on every single one. <laughs> Fire! No, they're gonna that's, that's they're gonna go need. crazy. Like we're just kind of screwing around right now, but it's gonna get legit soon. Dude, we got a lineup, a team, bro. We got some people that you'd be shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, we have a list of people we're gonna bring on. I am so happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be crazy. That's so lit, bro. Yeah. Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you like the studio? Did you see the? St- Oh my god. <laughs> hey, we yeah, are yeah, yeah. Joe Rogan's <laughs> biggest fans. Chill with that. Bro, my team. And I thought it was like gonna be like a surfing video. No, bro. bro. No, this is legit. <laughs> yeah, this is this is oh a legit god. thing. You like the, did you see like our studio? We literally yeah, set this all up. We got we're at Justin's house. We set up the black backdrop and everything. Bro, that's such a genius idea, man. Yeah, we just thought it'd be fun to screw around. Yeah, that is so lit, actually. Yeah, it's good vibes. Bro, I'm going to hop on that cast at some 
Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah, you. Dog. Dude, we'll put you in the queue. <laughs> We're just gonna expose you on on the live, bro. Yeah, but we're gonna start wrapping up. I'll call you later. All right, peace, bro. So funny, bro. This guy. Um, Mateen would be an act. Oh yeah, dude. That would be fire. I don't know. If we can get, you know, who the Missy. I don't want to say the name yet. Yeah, yeah. But dude. That'd be oh insane. my god, that would be fire, bro. It would be insane. No, that would be insane. Have her tweet it out. I feel like we could talk about so much stuff with yeah. her. I agree. Just what she thinks about the new generation. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I don't honestly. want to tell anyone in here yet, but three no. people watching. We don't want to hype it up. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because if it doesn't happen, then people will be like, oh, where's that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she'll do it once we graduate. We'll do oh, it yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, Add her on god, Facebook, guess, DM her. Bro. Dude, hit her up. I have her number, so I can just Yeah, text me too. Her. But, yeah. Dude, okay. Dude, we need to do the next one soon. Yeah, we do. We'll get H tape on it. Yeah, we'll get H tape on it. We'll just get like a bunch of like random heads. We can on always there. get like the homies on there. Yeah. Because like again and again. Because like you know how Joey does like Neil the Crabs. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like if he becomes the regular, you know, we'll always just <laughs> have him hop on. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'll be sick. Just I, have fun. I, I think it'll be easier to keep it going the more and more. You start it? Like yeah. once you start it, like that's like the first step. And then we just have, the momentum. We didn't have too many pauses, only like. Two or three. No, yeah. Really, like, just posted. But. Yeah. No, it wasn't bad, and we didn't go off of anything. Yeah. Let me zoom in real quick. What's the uh, what's the time at? It's like you you checked put the thing right here. Oh, 49 minutes ago. Yeah. Let's let's uh so yeah we we'll go 11 about. more. If you're still watching this, you're a real one. We love you, and say say something in here. Give us some material for the last. Give us some material for the last 10. I think we should do that. I think we should do all of them an hour. Okay. Because it's, it's been oh, an hour. Yeah. I feel like that's a good amount of time. Yeah. How many subscribers do we have? <laughs> it doesn't even feel like an hour. We gained one subscriber. That's Dude, lit. We're out that's here. That's like our goal. Yeah. We're out here with three oh, subscribers. four subscribers. No. <sighs> I'll Watch, we're, that. Gonna, we're gonna I'll be out here with like we're just gonna spike one day. So yeah. We're, oh, we're yeah, gonna dude. do like someone like kind of. We're gonna do DJ. If we can Flip. get DJ Flip on here, bro. <laughs> if anyone knows oh who DJ God. Flip is, let's uh let's search him up right here. Yeah. Here you do it. Oh, should we show him? Craziest like... story. This. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to the comments. Yeah. Let's talk about whatever H Ape said. Craziest story from this fool last ten minutes. From what fool? What though? fool? I think, Me. I think Are you talking about Mateen. You're talking about Shane or Mateen? Give us some specification, pal. I don't really have crazy stories. I know. I mean, I feel like we all do. We just yeah. didn't think of them, bro. I have some crazy stories that we can only talk about. <laughs> we can't be exposing. There's some, some personal yeah. ones. Yeah, we can't be exposing ourselves on yeah. the thing. He said Shane. Craziest story, oh, yeah. Shane. Think of something. You got it. I don't no know. Problem. Do you know who H-Ape is? I have no idea who that okay. is. He's just, oh, he's just the kid on the block, bro. Yeah, he's literally the a kid on neighborhood the block. neighborhood superhero. Something... I feel like we've done something gnarly together, Garrett. Let's think of so, like an OG time yeah. that you and I had. What's like something we did when we were like... <laughs> like in eighth grade. Yeah, because Shane and I have known each other for so long now that I think about it. He used to kick it. You, me, Sammy, yeah. Claire Richardson. Shout out Claire Richardson. I the Disneyland you. trip. Um, yeah. What, what, can we, what can we talk about? There's only four people watching, so I feel less pressure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Felt, felt Dude, little, when there was eight on there, I was I like, like oh. pressure, and there's eight people. Um, what have we done, bro? Do we have you and I gone to this? Have you have you and I gone to the Savvy B Beach House together? Yeah, eighth Dude, grade. We, okay, me, tell the story. I've heard it, but tell it again, Dude, bro. Dude, me, Shane, and all the homies used to kick it at Savvy B's Beach House at Pitas Point, California. Surf all day, Sick. eat tons of pizza. It's, yeah, it's just, it's good vibes. Good vibes. Eighth grade vibes. Did you go with her or you just by? No, no, no. We we were. Her mom would like have us all over and we would like go yeah. and surf mm. and stuff. It was sick. Oh, that was that one year when I first met you, right? Like the end of freshman Maybe, year. Maybe because I don't remember when we met. We met. We we met the end of freshman year in PE. We're shooting hoops, bro. Yeah, but we're we like, didn't like. We no, were, but we weren't homies, we weren't homies. but we, we were, were like talking in, shit to each other. Yeah, yeah, in the history class, that's when we were Oh, homies. the history class is when we were homies. Yes, yeah. yeah. Christensen? Yeah, yeah, that's why yeah. I have him on his phone is Justin from ModSiv. I'm never yeah, changing that OG uh, name. It's the most OG thing. Yeah. That's when we like became homies. And then we had math with Energy and oh, Mohad and his hand. 
Miss Hand. Shout out Miss Hand. And then she taught what, me all the math. How did we become like really good friends after that? I don't remember. Just from See, work, right? Yeah, you guys worked together. Yeah, but how? Okay, we were, how we did I like? Work. I don't remember how. Like, what happened? We sat next to each other in Mod Civ. And I was. What's up? Yeah, and I was like, "Hey, you want a job? Like, what did I do?" Oh no, that was when we were already homies. I was in. I remember this. I was in government. I was sitting next to Jenna Rorick. Right. And you text me. He's like, "Hey, you want to work at the bike shop?" I'm like, because I was talking to her about, hey, I, I tried. Oh, because there was someone who I didn't want to work there so badly, but they were going to hire another high school student. You know what I'm talking about? There's someone oh, who yeah, I didn't yeah, want to yeah, work yeah, there yeah. so badly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know um, what you're talking about. Yeah. So. And so I was like, I was like stressing. I'm like. So this is what is crazy. I talked to you about this already, that there's something out there, bro. There's something out there. Because I was talking to Jenna Rorick, because she's like, oh, you know, Garrett, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I applied for Magic Mountain, and they didn't accept me because there's too many people. They said I passed the interview. I was sad. I was like, you know, ranting to her. Yeah. And then you sent me the text. I'm like, right as I was saying that to her. Yeah. I'm like, That's show. insane. I pull up to the place. I get interviewed in the most stupid way. I didn't even get interviewed. Our I just start boss. working. Shout out Trip just... Mellinger. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, Trip needs to be on the live, bro. Oh he needs to. Oh my God! I'm writing that down. Yeah, I'm writing. That you don't down. know who Trip is, bro. I, I, but oh when he's goodness. on here, you need to watch it. Oh. He's a world-renowned pilot. No way. Uh, kind of. His Dude. dad's like a famous pilot. He's rich. Dude. He worked at this thing, this job for yeah. fun as a manager, but he like works on planes. He's. I think A Shape knows mm, who Trip Mellinger is. He's an interesting Dude. guy. Yeah, A Shape. You know who? Uh, Trip, Trip is? Mellinger. He's like all the heads. Oh, Mateen knows who the secret guest is. Do you know who it is? Oh, it, you made it pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah. But it's okay. It, he especially knows. he definitely he's, knows. Yeah, I, I'd rather him know it so we can get some hype. He's homies with her. Um, Trip Mellinger, dude. Oh yeah, that dude caused me a lot of mental pain <laughs> in my life. Dude, Did you stressful. ever come into the shop when he was my boss? No, I came when only when Lala was there. Yeah, yeah he that said, was insane. Lala's. He was there. Good, you were good, there. Good Remember when Lala was screaming at me? She's like, "Do not." And I was like, Mom, I gotta oh, go. That's when you were there. Yeah. She's like, she's like, don't stand up for him. You're like, Yeah, I remember that? Him. Yeah. I was oh like, Garrett, bro, just go. I got you. Yeah. She's like, you will not stand up to him. I'm the boss of you. Oh my gosh. That was the most stressful night yeah, of my I life. Know. Shane's like waiting outside. Yeah. I'm like doing a bike sale. Oh my gosh. Well, I was a good lady though. We like her. Yeah. She's, she's a good lady. She's absolutely it just lady. you know, stuff happens. Um It gets stressful, it gets heated in there. Trip calls the phone when we had our little old um like house phones at the shop. It's super busy in the shop. It's like, we're just again. grinding. Okay? Three rings. The phone hangs up by itself because it's those, like, house phone yeah. we use because it was stupid performance. Then no one answers the phone. He calls again. Okay. Garrett answers. But the reason I think he got so pissed off is because he has, like, a weird – he's just, like, a weird dude, you know? Yeah. But on the voicemail, he has to listen to himself talk on the voicemail. Like, hello, it's Performance Cyclery. That's how he sounds. He goes, oh, <laughs> Garrett. Yeah, so I think he had to listen to that, and he got so heated. But he wasn't even there, and we were yeah. all in perfect sync, just flowing, taking care of everyone. Answer and like before one second, like, this is Gary, I'm gonna help you. And he goes, God damn it, Gary! He starts screaming at me. He goes, I'm gonna come in there. What, what, why would you let the phone go for three rings? I'm like, Trip, we're busy. I'm sorry, like, I'm working. Like, I was helping a customer. And he goes, Who's not? I'm like, Everyone's with the customer. He goes, You know what, Gary? I'm like, What? He goes, I'm gonna come in there and I'm gonna start bashing heads. <laughs> he goes, and Guess what? I go, what? He goes, you're first. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's pissed, bro. He's screaming That's at the insane. top of his lungs. Just absolutely raging. What and did that... you do after? You just, like, no, hung I up just the go, phone? I go, all right. And I just hung up. And we just, like, we moved on. <laughs> Better hide the pedal wrench. No, yeah. And then I turned around. I was like, dude, hide all the pedal wrench. <laughs> he walks in like this. <sighs> oh, he, he came? Yeah, dude. He flips over, like, helmets. He just knocks shit off the shelves. We walk behind him. Yeah. He, like, he told me about this when I first started working yeah. here. I was like, all right, whatever. But, no, I would walk behind him and just pick up stuff. You'd pick up stuff. Yeah. Smash it. All right, Trip. We'd, like, all follow right, him trip. around while he was, like, having a tantrum. Why and, like, did clean they, up after. Is that why they, like, switched ownership? Because of him? No, <laughs> no, no, no. They no, switched no. ownership because Fred. the owner, Fred, he's yeah. a horse. He's so cool. Oh, he's, dude, he's sick. He was so chill. And he would, he just got old and just wanted to retire. So, he just sold the business to InCycle. And they have, like, a bunch yeah. of locations, so. Yeah, and he still owns the building. And that fool's making oh, really? bank, bro. He bought Off the rent. building, financial horse, yeah, and he's just renting them out to them so for much. super expensive. Yeah, that's like a prime location. Yeah, yeah, it's right in, right next to Stonefire. Yeah, yeah, so sick. Probably shouldn't be playing with this, but dude, I had a, a lady come in. And she's like, she bought like an eight thousand dollar bike, and she was, 
I was going to go to uh, Valley Bicycles because that's the first thing that came up when I Googled it, but I couldn't park in their parking lot, so I just came here. I'm like, show. <laughs> that's the most funny Valley thing. Bicycles. You do not want to go to Valley no, Bicycles. No, dude. They're, yeah. they're sus. Oh, they so are sus. Right next to that sketchy mini mart. Yeah, they're just yeah. jokes yeah. in there. They're so... Yeah. We have six people watching right now. We're know, literally just bro. talking about the bike shop. It's kind of it's kind of yeah. good. But dude, we need to get trip on here. He would do it, bro. He, he would. would. He would. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. He would do it. Yeah. Yeah. Fred wouldn't, but he would. Yeah, Fred. But trip would just talk about all kinds. We ask him about his life story. Oh yeah, I really want to know. His dad was someone like famous, apparently. Because we, I just want to know why he is the way he is. Yeah. That's why I think the podcast is good. I'd, I'd like to get people on here and be yeah. like, yeah, just like tell me about your, your life story and then we can just, right? Isn't that a good thing? Yeah, I want to do that with my grandma. She's been through a lot. Your grandma's crazy. Really? Growing up during World War II, revo- uh, revolution in Hungary, escaping Hungary, coming to America. Yeah, see, I want to get some stuff like yeah. that. That's, that's yeah. sick. Let's get her on. Yeah, there. that'd be She'll sick. She'll do it, honestly. Does she talk about yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. She loves talking about it. Let's buy another mic and just get her on the line. Yeah. That'd be sick. See, yeah, that's why I'm excited for this. Like, this episode's kind of like... It's just going to be interesting, because think about it. Looking back yeah. 30 years from now... And you and I, we're all in here just, like, just talking. Us just talking. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I feel like that'd be so sick. Yeah. Dude, next live we do, I'll call Trip on the live and yeah. ask him. I won't even ta- I'll just call him. <laughs> hey, Trip. So we're starting this podcast. <laughs> I think you'd want to be on it. We're just doing it just to look back at I'm still you know, oh, 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 do I get money? Like, oh, <laughs> Will you pay me? We're just broke boys. We work at InCycle. You know this. He's like, oh, okay. Good vibes. I'll be over in five. All right. We're coming down to our last minute yeah. here. You want to end it? Yeah. All right. That was a good first live. Thank yeah. you for everyone. Please subscribe so we, because we're going to make some gas interviews. and there's, Don't sleep on this podcast. Yeah, because there's the actually sick stuff. DJ Flip. I mean, yeah, there's we got some, we got some heaters. Dynamite. We got some heaters cooking Napoleon in the kitchen. Dynamite. So. Yeah. Really? We yeah, we're getting some, Napoleon on the we stream. Some, we got some contacts. Lives so. in Candy Country. Oh, it's okay. We're gonna be off now.